What's going on YouTube? Back with another tutorial here. So have you ever gotten the dreadful little message here that says low on space? Your phone storage space is getting low. It usually happens after you've just installed an app. The reason this happens is because by default the Android market installs apps onto your phone's memory even though they may support storing to SD. It just by default puts them on your phone. So to try to clear up some space on your phone and get those apps off of your phone and onto your SD card I'm going to use an app called apps to SD Pro here's the market page for it there's a free version also which is supported by ads uh, I personally don't like ads and just wanted to support the developers so I went ahead and got the paid version it's fairly cheap and for what it does in my opinion it's worth the couple of bucks or I think it's only 99 cents actually so let me just go ahead and open it up here and you can see it gives a message building application list what it's doing is it's going through your phone and scanning all the applications and then once it finds apps that you can move off of your phone it'll put them on this little tab here which says movable you have a couple of other tabs here on SD card if I select that these are all apps that I've already moved over uh, before this demonstration that I'm doing right now and then phone only are apps that don't support storage on SD card and can only be stored on your phone so if I go back to movable um, you can see this is a lot quicker than going through your phone phone's list of applications and trying one by one to see what can and can't be moved over this puts them all on one screen real quick and easy so to actually move them over you just select the app and what it does is it takes you into the applications uh, manage application screen which you can also get to through settings and then applications manage application um, so you just select move to SD card and it will move it give it a couple seconds here once that moving is no longer grayed out then it has been moved onto your, your SD card and will free up memory for you on your phone's actual memory. So you can see now it says move to phone, which means that it is on your SD card. So if I just hit the back arrow here, goes back to the main app. Again, scanning through the apps because it just modified the list. And the bottom you'll see that available memory will change as I move these apps over. And just you know, FYI, the little low on memory message will come up anytime you get under 40 megabytes. So it should be gone by now. Yeah, it's already gone because I've got 43 megs. But this is a movable app as well, so I'm going to go ahead and move it. It's 11 megs, pretty big app, so might as well get it off of our phone memory while we can. And again, once it moves it, it'll free up all that space on your phone. And another cool thing that this this app does and you can set it up to do is whenever you install a new application let me go back to the app again so it's gonna clear it off of there you can see I've got more memory now I'm gonna hit menu and then if I go into settings and where is it oh notification if you have that turned on anytime you install a new app it's automatically going to check and see if that app can be moved to your SD card. If it can, you'll get a little pop-up in your notification tray showing you, hey, this app can be moved. So I'm going to take a little break here and install an app that I previously uninstalled off my SD card just so you could see that little notification. So stand by. Okay, so I've given this app some time to download and it's almost finished here and I know this is supported for moving to SD because I previously had it on my SD card so I uninstalled it and, and reinstalling it now just to show you an example of the notification system that apps to SD has built into it so you can see it's installing right now and once it's installed you'll get a little pop-up see it says successfully installed app and then there should be another one coming from 
attach the SD itself. And right now I have all my ringtones turned off, but if you set you can set it to have a ringtone so you know you don't even have to keep keep an eye on it. It'll notify you, hey, it's time to move this app over. So I'm gonna pull this down. And you can see notifications, eBay apps to SD Pro. This app can be moved to the SD card. So you just select the notification. And again, it will take you back to the applications, manage application screen. So select move to SD card, and it starts moving it over. So you don't have to worry about, you know, forgetting, oh, did I, did I install that, that app on my SD card? Have I moved it over? It just reminds you right then and there. And it maintains your phone with lots of free space. So again, this is apps to SD and it's free and paid versions are both available in the Android market. If you like this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button up top and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me please shoot me a message either on my home page or here on YouTube on my profile. I'm just gonna go to my home screen and until next time hope this tutorial helps you all out get some free space on your phone, and take care.